Okay, hello, fit chicks and fit beauties, y'all. I was rushing out the house so fast this morning. So, to update y'all, I do not have a car right now. My car name is Lamina, and Lamina is really playing with me right now. So, I had to catch me a ride to the gym this morning because I was not going to miss my workout. So, before I left the house, of course, I had to load up on my oxy shred. I'm doing two scoops of rainbow candy, and we're just going to put a little dab of water because we need the pre-workout to hit hard. If you're interested in getting you some oxy shred, I 10 out of 10 recommend you grab it ASAP because it literally is everything you need and more. But after I took this oxy shred and poked that water in there, I was headed out the door. And next thing y'all know, I was at the gym. All right, you guys. So, y'all, my sister was all in the way. Like, I couldn't even warm up because she literally wanted to be right under me, which I'm not tripping because I love my little sister. But, y'all, it is 2023. If you're not doing a full warm up before your workout, what are you doing, y'all? A lot of times we experience back pain, we experience injury, we experience tightness in our hips and everything because we're not warming up. All right, y'all, so first up on my workout plan, I have four sets of eight split squats. Last week, I did 15 pounds on each side, and I was like, you know what? Okay, let's add another five pounds. So now we had 20 pounds on each side, and we got four sets of eight, y'all. One exercise that will literally humble you is split squats. Like, I kid you not, they will humble you, whether you're doing with dumbbells, whether you're doing them like this with your foot on the floor, but them real foot elevated split squats literally will humble you. And I know sometimes y'all probably thinking like, okay, I don't think my knees will allow me to do this. It's a such thing called contralateral split squats that allows you to hold on to something for assistance. Do it body weight and then add weight. Of course, if you're looking to progress within strength training, make sure you click the link below, Wild Spot Flash Chef Friday, and get your workout plan for the low. Your girl gonna hook you up and we're gonna progress. So y'all watch me torture myself with this. All right, guys, after that split squat torture, we're headed into trap bar deadlifts. Y'all, I got this from Walmart for my gym space for about $57. If you're a person that want to get familiar with deadlifting, this one is literally like so beginner friendly. And then they also have one that has like the barrier on the bottom. So that way you don't have to even add weight for it to be easy for you to go into the stance. And y'all, these four sets of eight kill me. I started out heavy because last week I did 45 and a 15. So I started off with that way. And baby, when I tell you. That first set took me out, but y'all see how I'm moving through that A too fast? Like, I'm moving through it, so that's how I knew I could go heavier. So, I tell my clients all the time, like, say for instance, I give them 10 reps, and they get to 10, they get up like, oh, okay, what's next? You literally were not lifting heavy enough. 
if you could get through your a reps and don't struggle don't fight then that means the weight isn't heavy enough so you really want to challenge yourself when you lift and to make sure that you're pushing yourself like if it's a weight that you can only do for a reps stick to that weight for a reps and then maybe try to do 10 reps or if it's a rate that you have for 12 try to do 15 it's so many ways to progressive overload and that way you making sure that you really really push because this is what muscle is developed when you're pushing past your limit and really really fighting to get them last little reps in so now we're going to move into the upper body portion so i have incline dumbbell chest press usually y'all i can fly through these dumbbell chest presses but when you take it from a regular chest press to an incline it will humble you so i'm doing 30 pounds for 12 reps and then i did 35 for 10 reps and y'all i really was gonna try to go up to the 40s but i literally just couldn't go and so i'm so happy for myself because i'm finally like really just regaining my strength because after my surgery y'all i thought i wasn't gonna be able to lift up 10 pounds because 10 pounds was heavy but it's very important to just let your body fully recover and work your way up so this also goes to a person that if you're a beginner don't be afraid to start even if you don't think you'll be great like go ahead just step your foot in it and you can only get stronger over time i promise you All right, y'all, then I had 100 banded pull-aparts as fast as possible, only a 10-second break when needed. And when I say my back was on fire, like I know for sure in the morning I'm going to feel this. I'm going to wake up and get out the bed and be like, bro, did somebody beat me up last night? But then I'm be like, oh, okay, it was just them banded pull-aparts. So, yeah, I finished off with this, and I did have one more exercise, but I had ran out of camera space, so, yeah. All right, guys, so now that my workout is over, y'all, that workout almost took me out, and my face is breaking out probably because all the sugar I've been eating. Y'all, I know when it's time for me to kind of, like, dial back on my sugar because the face get to breaking out. And plus, I also just recently had my menstrual. So that could be it as well, but we're going to go with the sugar as the problem to this. So I just want to update y'all on what's been going on. So... Let me tell y'all the power of consistency. And I know the light changed because I'm walking around the house. Y'all, I dropped eight pounds since last week. And, of course, most of it is water, but we'll take it. And I said I'm going to sit down so I can tell y'all what's going on. It's to say that, like, sometimes what you need is to get into a routine. And once you get into that routine, you'll be surprised at how fast the weight fall off. Like, I've had clients that sign up for my challenges and literally drop about five to eight pounds within one week of just getting their body into, you know, the groove of things. So that's pretty much the vibe. Like, I've been, besides the extra sugar, y'all, I've probably been, I've been eating cookies every day this week. But... They're a little over my calories, but not drastically over my calories. So, start from last week to Monday, I dropped 8 pounds. And then this week in total, I dropped another pound. So, that's how I know my body is really adjusting. And I've gotten stronger and your girl been tracking. So, it is Flash Sale Friday. So, I know a lot of people probably thinking about waiting to January or thinking about waiting to later. But... If you are serious about taking your journey serious, I have a Flash Tale Friday going on today, right now, as we speak. The link will be below. Be below. All of my plans, all of my programs, that's include online training and in-person group training, if you're located in Houston, Southeast Houston, is on sale. If you give me three months of 100% consistency, I'll show you how to be a believer. 
but I just need you to come and be ready to work, okay? So, like, even with my online training, it's weekly check-ins. You get a work I got. I have a customized option, and then I have a pre program that's already made option as well. So, you can either pick which one is beneficial for you. I have a nutrition plan, the basic nutrition plan, and a snack list. And this basically is if you already have a workout plan, you already content with what you're doing as far as working out, grab your nutrition plan so that you can actually start seeing how much you're intaking in a day. Because sometimes even though you're eating healthy, you could be eating way too much to be in a deficit. And it only takes a little bit to get out of that deficit. And yeah, my papa I always want to cut grass when I'm recording. I kid you not. But yes. Go ahead and click the link below and go ahead and get your plan today. Do not hesitate, y'all. I'm telling y'all, y'all give me three months of consistency, I'll show you how to be a believer. I'm going to flash some of my transformations at the end of this video, and I'll thank y'all for tuning in. And don't forget, do not forget, it's Friday the 13th. EHP Labs is having a Friday the 13th sale. Make sure you use my code DUN10. Let me show y'all my favorite Oxy Shred. If you looking, you need a pump, you need to be pumped up, you like that boost to go work out, but you don't want to be itching like you on something, but you is on something, let me show you. Right here. Oxy Shred in the flavor Rainbow Candy. Rainbow Candy, Juicy Watermelon, and I do like Voodoo, and then they have like an Oxy Shred Hardcore for people who like really, really need the stem. The Coca-Cola one. Cali Cola. I think it's called Cali Cola. And it literally tastes like Coke. And if you don't drink Coke and you want to drink a little Coke, get that one. Because it literally tastes like Coke. But with that being said, your girl is on a mission, y'all. I am... One thing that I realized is being in my particular field, sometimes you have to look the part. And right now, y'all know your girl done went through some things. It done got a little downfall. But... We're about to look the parts, okay? We're about to look the part. So that starts with making sure that I am continuously showing up every single day. Once again, I'm not doing nothing too crazy. I'm not on the cardio, doing cardio two hours a day. I'm not doing nothing too crazy. I'm doing something that's moderate that I can stick to and that when I get to my goal, I can maintain. Like literally my goal is getting to where I want to be and then maintenance. Maintenance is harder than losing. And I know that now because I'm on the other side of it, but... Once again, if you need some assistance on your journey, make sure y'all take advantage of the Flash Sale Friday that's going on right now. The link is below. Go ahead and purchase it ASAP because it only lasts today. The next time you baby get it is next Friday, okay? So with that being said, y'all already know the drill. Thanks for coming to work out with me and come back and mess with your girl. Peace out.